bounds only by frozen What's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome, guys. We got uh, Marco show in here. We got Yusuf. Uh, we got James Parts out. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Very slow start today. We got uh, well, Nikak. What's up, going on, man? Um, from Greece. If I uh, misspelled or mispronounced your name, sorry. Um, so what's going on, guys? We got uh, OBS is fucking it's growing crazy right now, trying to keep up with the bit rate. And I don't know what's going on with that. So if you uh, receive any interruptions, it's not uh, it's it's OBS's fault. Uh, what's going on, Aviator guy? We got Street Shark Kid. What's up, man? What's going on? We got uh, Blue VPA, Bill Clinton is a rapist, Random Slavic Guy, Ice uh, Wallow. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm fucking morning, man, but man, that's just, just can't get me. Just can't get me. You're just ridiculous. Oh my god. Anyways, Jay Benjamin, what's up, man? That made me laugh. I'm not. That was a pretty good one. That was a good one. You almost got me. Almost got me. You got Jordan Morrison, <laughs> April Lins. Oh, man. Oh my god. Greece is gorgeous. Yes, it is. All right, so guys, we're in uh, the Saab 340, just like I said we we're going to do. We're in Portland. Uh, actually, I looked at the weather of all, th uh, all the airports we're going to today, and uh, they don't look pretty. I'm going to say that right now. Um, so, about that. Yeah. Anyways, guys, we're in the Saab 340. We're going to Seattle. It's about a 112-mile trek here. So, um, we got the uh, GPU on, connected, doors open, and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, so this is going to be interesting. Um, overcast at 400 feet. This is going to be fun. Um, the first flight today, yeah, so, uh, yeah, like I said, the Seattle to our uh, PDX to Seattle, man. I'm the best pilot, bro. I wouldn't say that, man. I'm not even close. Not even a real pilot, man. Not even a real pilot. All right, hold on now. Webcam. You guys want to see my webcam? I don't know. I don't know about that. Oh, boy, where's my at? There we go. Alright, so there, there we go. Where's our webcam? Um, if I can remember how to do that. There we go. So, um, oops, let's uh, reset our let's see, ground idle. There we go. Alright, so this thing, I always fuck starting this thing up here. Let's go ahead and get my uh, Garmin on here and set our flight plan. And let's go to my weather here. Get PDX. Uh, let's see here. It's 30.2. Thirty point twelve, and I need to do that for the co-pilot side too. Oh jeez! Oh boy! All right, there we go. You won't be back for three hours. Oh man. Okay, I still should be. Uh, yeah, I still should be streaming. We should, you should catch us in, um, in uh, Juno probably by then. Hopefully. Plate needs to be washed. Oh, maybe. The destination, uh, Seattle, man. Seattle, Tacoma. SeaTac. Uh, Alright, there we go. Alright, let's get to, uh, let's go into our, uh, um, GNS 5, 530 here. And, uh, let's see, we need flight plan, and we probably should go clear. Well, menu, clear this. Oops. Go, go activate. No, delete. Save. Where's the clear at? Delete approach. There we go. Alright, so PDX here. Uh, let's go procedures. Uh, we're going to take off with 
Uh, let's see here. We do. The, I think we're just gonna go direct to Cougar here. Let me get my charts up and see if there's an actual just a PDX. What am I doing? Flight to Kingston, Jamaica. Uh, not anytime soon, man. Did you see Canada's uh, Atlanta yesterday? Yeah, man, it's hilarious. Hilarious. He said that was better pushback. Uh, I don't know. I'm no X plane. X plane does some weird things sometimes, but uh, it's definitely weird. Uh, I, I guess as soon as his, uh, you know, his better pushback connected, right? His uh, true airspeed uh, went to like 100, 110 knots or something like that, and uh, yeah, it was pretty funny. I thought it was the hurricane, to tell you the truth. Man, this is so slow. Come on. Let's see, what are our winds doing here? Winds are 230 for 4. Okay, so we'll be taking around 28s. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do I have to say your name? You're just nuts, bro. All right, so Ice Wallow, all right? Ice is one name, and then Wallow, right, is his middle name, and then his last name is Gum. Aha, uh -huh. you good. He wants me to drink. Oh, shit. Give him that $5 donation. Oh, man, it's too Wind early this shit. Windshear. Okay. Windshear. You just want me to say Ice Wallow Gum. That's what you say. Oh, boy. I'm trying to keep this a PG, somewhat of a PG-13 rated channel. Somewhat. But uh, if it comes down to it, I guess I guess we could go a little bit R-rated. Little turd. Thanks, bro. I appreciate the five dollars. Now I gotta put your name up there. You're just troll or troll, man. Cheers. Oh boy, it's begun. All right, monkey wings. I'll catch you around, dude. All right. So, what are we doing here? Oof. Oh boy. All right, so we go flights. Um, let's see, we're doing PDX, right? PDX. Here we go. Open up our charts for Portland. Canada forgot about the hurricane. Um, missed a direct hit by 120 miles. Yeah. Um, well, the hurricane wasn't there when he landed. I don't think that was a hurricane problem. I told him it was a hurricane thing, but I don't know. He kept saying that the weather, weather wasn't there, or it, like. It was only, the winds were only 10 knots or something. Have I ever traveled to Greece in real life? No, but I have been to Greece in the, in the plane. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Come here, he says he swallows. I'm happily married, right? Happily married to a female. Oh, man. All right, so Sid's here. What, what are we doing? There's no Sid's for, what? Okay. PDX doesn't have any charts anymore. This is really weird. I think it's time to restart my tablet. And we will power that off. It's caught Michael, what's up, man? Alright, we'll do this the other way. Uh, let's see here. We'll get our Google Chrome. Come on now, Chrome. I got four pages open, but yet there's 15 task manager fucking Chromes in the task manager. Alright, so where's PDX yet? I guess I have to do this this way. Open charts. I don't know why that's not working. That is really weird. All right, so we're gonna do. Let's see here. The Helen Six departure. Can we do that? Actually, I like this one better than what actually Simbrief gave us. Yeah, let's just do that. That's. What? That doesn't even... There's no contest. Okay, we'll do the Helen 6. Alright, where are we at here? Helen's... Uh, shit, it's not even in here, is it? No, okay, we'll do the Portland. Screw it. 
All right, so Portland one, we'll do uh, two eight, uh, two eight right since we're over here, and uh, we'll go ahead and load that in. And then uh, after the vector is here, we'll click on the middle there, go there, click on, and then uh, let's see here. That's not what we want. We want to click the little button. There we go. All right. So after uh, after the vectors, I guess we'll just do Kuga, um, Craig, and then the Hawk. If that's gonna work here. So we need. Um, oops. I hate this 530 so much. I really do. Okay, so we want uh, C, right? Enter that in, and then after Cougar, or Cougar, yeah, it's whatever. Anyways, we'll do uh, see Cake here. Uh, it's gonna be Cake with a K, so that works out. So K I, uh, was it K? Oh, say Craig. Sorry, K R I E G. Oops. And after Craig, we will do, uh, is that right? The Hawk 7. Let's do, uh, let's see, procedures here. Select a rival. And, oh, never mind, hold on. Wrong one. I don't want PDX here. Let's clear this. Actually, you know what? Come on now. You son of a bitch. We will do Seattle. There we go. Alright, now we can probably delete this. Go to the menu here. Delete. Whoop. Wrong. God damn it. There we go. Delete to PDX. Alright, now we can probably do procedures. There we go. So, so let's, now let's select the rival. There's the Hawk. There we go. So the Hawk, uh, Hawks 7 arrival. And we want to do it from Craig. That works out. And let's get our weather here for the uh, Seattle real quick. Maybe. There we go. And winds are calm right now. So, you know what? Let's. I don't trust this thing. Look at the taff real quick. See what the weather's been doing. Oh, it's been calm for a while. Weird. All right, looks like yeah, they're landing. They're landing north. So. Alright, so we'll land, uh, you know what, we'll land 3-4, right? There we go, load. And there's our flight plan, cool. Alright, I think that's actually it, actually. It's pretty pretty simple with this fucking thing. Uh, let's, um, let's see, cruise altitude. Let's probably, let's go up to like 15,000 here. If we could, we might be able to make that. Hold on. Scroll this, keep scrolling. Scrolling scrollsters. Keep going, there we go, 15,000, there we go. Alright. And uh, let's see here. I know I'm forgetting something. Let's do our squawk here. Whoops. Oops, I just turned it off. Didn't I? And that's probably running through tests. even tell what it's on. What is it on? Okay, they're on. Nope, that's on altitude. This is just, okay. Anyways, okay, let's go back to Squawk Box. Oh, my, my, my. Alright, so we're going to be Delta, right? So Dow, and then, there we go, Delta, connect, and let's file our flight plan here. So we'll go Squawk Box and flight plan, and we are at PDX. Yeah, it's gonna be, this is gonna be fun.
fun, right? It's gonna be really fun. Uh, so, KC. That's where we're going. And then the alternative is your mom. Oh, I love it. Uh, I'm just gonna keep that in there forever. See if anyone catches on. Uh, let's see. That's probably actually a real high cow. Uh, let's do 15,000. True air speed is probably gonna be about, I would say, let's do 280 knots. And let's input our flight plan here real quick. There we go, get that down. And this is gonna be about, uh, I would say, it's gonna be about a 40 or 50 minute flight or so. Basically from the, t the time of takeoff to the time of landing. Um, fuel, yeah, about that's about right, actually. Okay, let's go ahead and send that. What's going on, Adrian? What's up, man? Good evening. How you doing? Um, your voice seems a bit low. What do you mean? Like, uh, is it, uh... Hold on. My voice is... It's my mic's fucking shit, so... I gotta get a new one. I'm sorry. Get that turned down. There you go. Outside view real quick. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Uh, what's going on, Steve? What's up, man? Good morning. Assembled the crew, right? Right? There we go. So there's the outside view, guys. We're uh, we're in the Saab 340. Beautiful uh, aircraft. Uh, LES 340 Alpha. And um, really just... It's actually really beautiful aircraft. I can't, like, I don't know. Anyways, so... Thomas likes to point out that there's zero visibility in Seattle right now. So this is going to be fun. Um, we're probably going to die. Just, uh, just a heads up, right? I'm going to restart my tablet here, see if we can get my charts back onto the uh, application. For some reason, my charts just didn't want to show up. But, uh, yeah. What's going on, Sebi? 1203 Gaming and more. Yeah, I remember you. What's up, man? What's going on, 12 Cut? What's up? How you doing? What's going on? Abbas Abuk, Abubakar? Is that right? Abu I can't fucking... Damn it. I messed up your name. I'm sorry. Alright, so... Where are we going here? What are we doing? Um, okay, so we got the flight plan all done up. Um, yeah, I think we're ready. Um, let's see here. Let's go to the top. Um, let's go get our window heats and everything. Standby pedo. Cross feeds. Actually, we don't want cross feed on. No. There we go. All right. Battery temperature on, and let's see auto corrosion. Let's get our recirculation fans going here, and let's go ahead and let's see. We want the cross valve open. Let's go ahead and close the bleeds. Maybe, maybe just leave them on auto. Just reset, just in case. All right, so we got our emergency lights are on. Let's see here. We got uh, external power on. Back to our pilot side here. We got, uh, let's get our nav lights here, our beacon lights, and let's go seatbelt signs. And all right, everything should be good. We should be able to start here. Um, let's go get our cutoffs or to the props to the start position. There we go. And I think that's it. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Actually, it'd probably be easier just to do the, this. We want to do 20. Oops. 2200 for the squawk here. There we go. 2200. Let's see if there's anybody online. Oh, Seattle approaches online. Nice. Oh, Peter Armstrong. Sweet. The dude with the uh, the voice thingy. Sweet. Alright, so let's do, um, let's see here. I know I'm missing something up here. Um, this is going to be a fun approach, guys. If the visibility is literally zero, man, we're going to die. Alright, so I think everything's good there. Let's go ahead and remove our traffic cones. Let's go ahead and do that, parking cones. And no lock gear. GPU, okay, GPU is okay for now. Let's go ahead and, um... Let's do request our pushback here. There we go. Start pushback. Cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. 
Do we really need to push back? I don't even think we do. Let's just try and do it this way. Driving What's going on, Tag? What's up, man? Up. Those extra plays are free. Don't we all, man? Don't we all? What's better? Uh, what's better for a uh, weak PC? You said Marco. Um, to tell you the truth, man, I don't know. I can't. I can't tell you because I. I mean. Um. I would think Microsoft Flight Simulator X would be maybe the Steam version or something like that. But I mean, I. I I still don't think that's going to be worth it too. Um, I think P3D is probably going to be more optimized for you, but. Um, um, okay, all doors and hatches are closed. I really, Ready I don't know, man. That's up to you. Um, I, I don't know, man. X plane, X plane takes a lot of oomph for computers to to run at a very very high quality. So, I don't know, man. Winching trap and adapter in position. Release parking brake when ready to start pushback. Alright, let's go ahead and... I don't want to do this, but we're going to have to. Let's go ahead and disconnect our GPU here. There we go. Disconnect our GPU. Things are about to die on us. Don't be alarmed. There they go. At least our parking brake here. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. All right, let's go ahead and start engine number two. Temperatures rising, sweet. You know what we forgot to do? <laughs> Oops. Damn it, flight attendants! Do your job! Saw nothing. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Reset. Uh, let's see. Gentai here. Reset. Reset. For number two. There we go. Reset, please. All right. Let's go ahead and start number one. Dang flight attendants, I know, right? Just can't believe those those fucking flight attendants, man. They just can't do their job. Alright, there we go. A good start on number two and number one now. Let's go ahead, uh, trip the Gentai for number one. And uh, let's go ahead, get the uh, reset, or reset the, whatchamacallit there, uh, the air. Oh, jeez. Put that the auto. And everything should be good now, right? Main inverter's on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Main inverter. And okay, I think I uh, think that I think that works out. I think everything's good here. And uh, let's do let's see here. We'll do flap seven for takeoff. I think that's flap seven. Can't really tell where it's at right now. And uh, let's go ahead and press the enter button. All right. How do you push back? What do you mean? You have the full version. You just click on the better push back, man, and. And start. I use start pushback. You could do you could do pre-plan. Uh, however, pre-plan just pre-plans it for you. Is this guy gonna stop pushing us back? What's this guy doing? Okay, better push back. You no, you're tainted. It's just we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to our plugin here, and uh, we're just gonna stop better pushback. Jesus Christ. Man. And that crash starts soon, didn't it? Alright, go 
Alright. 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 Let's see, uh, park your brake. Okay. Go ahead and push down the little, little tiller there. Can't believe that's like the steering for this thing. Oops. Alright. Get, uh, propellers up to the, was that, uh, it's a feather there. Let's go ahead and taxi. Fast taxi. Let's push them up just a little bit more. All right, let's go ahead and get our taxi lights on, wing lights, and I think that's it for now. This is gonna be fun. today. Virtually, of course. Can't help it, bro. It's just, it's just natural. We're damn near doing like 30 knots too. Oh, yeah, we're increase our propeller there a little bit. We we'll slow down just a tad. Damn things are catching so much air. Two more hours till I'm free. Oh no. Alright. Let's see. We want to turn on the the sea tots there for takeoff. There we go. Screw it, we'll do full length here. It's just an extra, what, 100, 200 feet. Alright, go ahead and get our landing lights, and let's see, strobe lights can come on now, and let's go, let's see, throbs, is that to max, no, not max, oh jeez, that's not good, let's go ahead and take the active here, look to the right, left, to the right, it's clear on the approach, alright, let's do this, oh jeez, oh yeah, look at us, in style, gents. Let's go on delay 20. What's up, man? Alright. A little bit of overshoot there. It's all good. This is gonna be sketch as shit. So just to confirm, we are in max, right? Yeah, we are in max. Because I don't want this thing beeping at us, which it's probably going to. We got uh, trim is set in the green for takeoff. Okay, let's push these, uh, push these throttles forward here. Let the seat top take over here. Release our brakes. Looking for about 70% here on the RPM. There goes seat top took over. All right. Jeez. Oh, she's not took over for one. There we go. There we go. 80, 90. There's 100. Alright, we'll rotate 115 here. There's 115. Let's go push. Oh, jeez. Pull back. Oh, wow, that's really sensitive right now. Alright, let's go ahead and get the gear.
I will go ahead and get the flaps. Alright, without trying to kill us here, let's go to our flight plan. We're going to delete. We're actually going to go direct to Cougar now. Direct to Cougar, activate that, and let's go menu here. We'll activate leg. Maybe that'll work. There we go. Alright, so we're uh, nav selected. We got uh, GPS there for our nav. Coming through 2,000 feet now. Let's go ahead and go flaps are up already. Okay. Are you drunk yet? Maybe. That fucking 3,000 feet per minute climb and a turbo prop. Gotta love it. Alright, let's go ahead and hit the uh, IS hold here. We'll increase that to about 180. And let's go ahead and turn on the autopilot. We'll hold that for three seconds. There we go. Yay, autopilot's on. We didn't die yet. Shade? No. It's snowing. What? It's snowing in Munich. Oh, jeez. How many legs am I doing today? I'm doing, let's see, this is the first one here. Uh, we're doing four legs, I think, right? Yeah, four. So, right now we're doing Portland to Seattle in this little turboprop. And then, um... We're going to do Seattle to um, Ketchikan, which is in Alaska, um, which is about five 500 mile trek. And then uh, from Ketchikan, we're going to go to Juneau, which is like 210 miles or so. That's a short flight. Um, and then um, the last flight, we're going to be doing Juneau to Anchorage. And then tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be a long haul. We're going to be doing um, Anchorage to Hawaii. We're going to fly in Hawaii for a little bit too uh, for tomorrow. And then, uh, and then Saturday, and then Saturday we're gonna be. Uh, oh, Saturday's gonna be fun. Um, so we're gonna go to Fiji on uh, on Saturday, and then uh, go to Auckland. So, and that's that's gonna be fun. And then Tuesday, Tuesday we're gonna fly around. Um, we're gonna fly around Auckland for a good couple hours, and then uh, and our last flights on Saturday or on Tuesday is going to be um, to um, to Australia. That's gonna be fun. You want to try and join me? All right. Fly to Malta. I would, man. I would. If there's actually, if I don't know if there's any good scenery, maybe. Um, we're gonna head that way. Um, so the plan is, um, we're gonna we're gonna basically go west around the uh, the world, right? So with a little bit of uh, deviation, but yeah. What's going on, Booby? Um, so yeah. So the plan is um, to basically after Australia, we're gonna. We're gonna head to Tokyo after Australia, and then come back down through the um, to Taiwan, the Philippines, and then uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of the uh, the India area, and then uh, probably a little bit of Iran, and then um, head to Dubai or something. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, guys. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make this this 1,500 or 15,000 altitude that we filed for. It's just really loud, too. What's going on, Jeff Blue Aviator? What's up, man? You have orthos on that? Ooh. Yeah, a little bit. See, that's the thing. I got to do a little bit more ortho over the weekend, so it's going to be a... Yeah, it's going to be a crazy, crazy thing, man. But uh, I got ortho for Japan, the Philippines, Taiwan. Um, so, uh, and we already got ortho for Australia for where we're going. So, yeah, man, we, uh, we're getting there, man. We're getting there. 
All right, let's go ahead and get our lights off here, and wing lights can come off too. And let's see here. I think that's it. I'm really worried about this visibility. Oh, that's shades halfway open. Let's just go outside here. Look at that beautiful work, though. What's going on? Airplane flights, what's up, man? How, how are you? I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking, man. You're going to buy the uh, Logitech Flight Yoke and uh, FSX. I would get the Steam version of FSX. Um, was it the Dovetail version of uh, FSX? So it's probably going to, it's probably like 15 bucks, man. It's probably your best bet. My favorite drink. Oh, um, I don't drink out of the flask. Just drink right out of the bottle, dude. Well, not when you put it like that, I guess it makes it sound like I'm an alcoholic. Um, right now I'm drinking Jim Beam. So... Ah, yeah, so Steam version, yeah, okay, um, you're asking if it's, like, as real realistic as X-Plane with all the buttons, um, some things, yeah, they can be, um, definitely can be, um, I mean, X-Plane's not perfect either with the default aircraft, so, um, to tell you the truth, man, if you could run the demo, try to run the demo of X-Plane, man, I, really, I know it's a little bit more expensive, but... I know you have a little lower-end computer, but if you could run the demo fine, then be happy with it. I really don't think you're going to be happy with FSX, man. It, it's old and outdated, man, you know? So, you're not going to be able to have, like, like this? You're not going to see this, right? It's just not going to happen. I have to re-download all my charts again. The plane is a beauty, I know, right? It is very, very beautiful. Got a thousand to go. Nice. We might make this. Cool Earth has got a flight simulator as well, does it? Never heard of it. Talking about fucking. Oh, Jesus. Please tell me you're not talking about that. There we go. Alright, let's download Seattle now. Alright, there's 15,000 feet. We've made it. I can't believe it. Amazing. Amazing. Jokes jerking all over the place. Okay, so if you're gonna buy the yoke, man, you're gonna need the rudder pedals, man, because um, the yoke doesn't have a, a rudder kind of thing. I mean, I don't know. I haven't played FSX in fucking ages, man, so I don't know if there's a way to actually simulate rudder with the the, the roll function of the yoke, like they're like they're in some aircraft in, in the next plane. So, so I can't tell you that for like offhand, man. Unfortunately, sorry. Damn headwinds. Uh, I don't even think Delta flies them anymore, man. I know there's I know there's some European countries out there. This is the Alpha, right? So really, I don't think I know. Um, I think there's a, a company in Bahamas that fly this. Um, other than that, I don't really know. I think most uh, most of everybody that flies SOPs fly the Bravo version. And I don't know the difference between the Bravo and the Alpha. There's uh, Mount St. Helens right there.
Snowbirds are going to be there. Nice. Can I play X-Plane without a yoke? Um, you can, yeah. You can use a mouse and keyboard. If you really wanted to. I, I, I mean, if you want a, like an, a flying experience, I would uh, highly suggest just buying an Logitech 3D or Extreme 3D Pro or something like that. Tell you the truth, man, that's what you should buy, dude. If you're hurting on money, man, and if you want to really fly an X-Plane or FSX or like that, um, definitely pick up an uh, Extreme 3D Pro, man. Like, I don't even know if you're, like, if you're just, like, testing it out, you might not even like X-Plane or FSX, man. It's, I don't know. So, might as well, might as well spend at least, the least amount of money you can just in case you don't like it. What are you talking about, William? I have no idea what you're talking about. Alright. Let's look at this here. We need to probably descend. Where's the charts? Down. We're going to Craig right now, right? Yeah, we're down to Craig almost. Okay, we need to be at Hawks at 12,000, so we should probably start descending now to 12,000. Let's reset our altitude here. to pass Craig here. Another eight seconds. You want to get a yoke, but uh, you don't have the money for one. Yeah, man, that's the problem with most of us, man. Um, to tell you the truth, man, uh, I, I really, as long as I've used this yoke um, from SciTech, now Logitech, so I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the, um, the quality is probably still the same, but the, um, I, I mean, I don't know. I can't really recommend it. I could recommend it if you're like a beginner use or something like that, but for the price range that it's, you know, they're asking is just way too much. Let's go uh, idle here. And uh, let's go IAS. Oh, Jesus, it's going to kill us. Hold on. down to 12,000 here. And Seattle Approach is online, so let's go ahead and contact them, 125.6. Alright, good. Here we go. Don't laugh, alright? This guy actually was boarding with the crushed larynx, alright? So, uh, as funny as it may sound, alright, this guy actually, uh, he's got some balls coming in here every, every day and doing this, so I may not be able to understand him right now either. But, um, it's pretty, it's pretty cool that he comes in here and does this. Alright. Uh, Seattle Approach, uh, Delta 3122. Uh, we're descending on the uh, the Hawk 7 RNAV uh, 12,000 for Hawks. If he even gets back to me. Oh, he's not even going to talk. I'm 
Michael, man, thanks for coming on a new member, man. Congratulations. You've won. Thanks so much, bud. Appreciate that. Here, have a float on, bro. Have a float on. The audio clip is a little bit uh, too low. Alright, we're back in the seats hot area here. I already caught it, okay. Maybe. Maybe you didn't hear me. Well, are they landing south? I'll oh, team it. Yeah, dude. Alright, so, okay, they're landing south. That's not good. Hold on here. Let's do uh, procedures here. Let's go select. Pro. Do 16 center, maybe. Wait. Uh, Seattle approach, Delta 3122. We're at 12,000 for uh, Hawks uh, on the, uh, the Hawks side. The next flight's going to be Seattle to, uh, to Pax, or Ketchikan. Ketchikan? Ketchikan. Maybe, maybe he can't hear us. Weird. You guys hear me, right? Texting. Yuck. I hate tech. Nothing's changed. We should be able to talk to him. She descend on the hacks now. I expect uh, 16 center sweet. I hate texting. We need to be, let's see here. Um, which way are we going here? Alright, we need to be at 12,000 still. Seattle approach, United 44 Charlie uh, with you, descending through 17,000, uh, heading for the Green VOR, and uh, then turning towards SeaTac. We're doing foot, we are doing foot, aren't we? Procedures here. Let's do it from Griffin. 
Station calling the Jana Road in place with Lake Dawn Line on Lightning. Seattle Approach, United 44 Charlie, descending through 16,005 um, on the uh, Glazer 1 arrival. We're headed to Payne VOR and then we'll turn towards SeaTac. FG01, United 44 Charlie. Alright, let's, uh, let's go down to 10,000 here. I guess we gotta be at uh, 10,000 for uh, foot. And we're in between 12,000 and 10,000, I would say. You're doing your homework right now? Nice, dude. Uh, let's see here. Can you use the? Can you use this for car driving? Brakes, gas. Yes, um, you could, but I wouldn't recommend it. The rider pedals are. I mean, the rider pedals lasted me for quite a while. But if you're going to use them for like something like that, then probably not, man. They're probably going to break because they're all plastic, man, inside, and they're really they're really cheaply made. I would say they're cheaply made, but you know what I mean. It's it's like tough plastic, but after I guess eight years uh, of me using mine, they uh, they went so that was pretty fast. Okay, ten thousand there. Uh, any station this net uh, radio check. Nine by five. Roger, region same. Okay, so it's definitely not us. Seattle approach on uh, Delta 3122, you copy? Yeah, that's Daddy 122, John the road, call me. Roger, I read you 5x5. Uh, five five. Alright, sweet, we got voice, woo! Yeah, I don't know, that was weird. I didn't even do nothing. I just opened up the preferences. Alright, so we're doing 16 center here. So let's um, let's go to our approach plate here. And uh, I want the ILS frequency because things are about to get hairy. Visibility is zero. At least it was. I don't know what it is right now. So we want to see let's do 111.7 for 16 center. And the course is going to be 164. Let's see where we at now. Kinda of sounds like a robot, yeah man, it's this little voice voice box thing. Alright, I think we need to be at eight thousand here, right? Eight thousand Down to 8,000. Let's go ahead and do IS here. Come back off the throttle just a bit here. And then we start descending. Super fast, apparently. Check that. Yep, still shit. This is gonna be fun. It's 
gonna be fun, man. Oh boy, I can't wait. We're gonna crash. All right. Uh, okay, so decision height. Let's do. Let's see here. Five thousand feet, United or Fort Charlie. Life. If we don't see the runway at 200 feet, I think we'd have to do a go around and go to the alternate, which is going to be your mom. <laughs> I can't believe I put that in there. This thing just turns like a jet pilot, a jet fighter jet, man. Let's see what the bottom altitude here is for the Hawk 7. Uh, we're coming in. Why are we doing goals? We shouldn't even be doing that. Yeah, it shouldn't even be giving this to us. Stay at seven thousand. Or eight thousand. Heading one nine or zero four seven forty seven hundred feet, nine four four Charlie. Yeah, I hope we don't have to do a, um, a mist, but we might have to, man, because if it's saying it's zero, zero visibility down there because of fog, then... This guy fixes this real soon because this looks pretty ugly. Wait, we need a song for this, don't we? Hold on. Depart fashion uh, 340 and then, uh, then uh, descend to maintain 3200 uh, for vectors for final approach for 16 uh, for uh, Delta 3122. Don't have fashion. It's not on here. Let's, uh, let's see. Um, this is going to be fun. He's just going to give us vectors, right? So um, I guess we'll just do heading. Zero, zero. Where's the heading select knob? Oh, man. Why do the companies put things there?
fine. Three zero five, direct evasion for uh, three west. All right, so uh, three zero five. I guess we don't. Yeah, we don't have three. Uh, we don't have evasion in our approach. I don't know, man. The five thirty is weird. If it was us, probably was. Yeah, we did it wrong. It gave us. It gave us like the um, the approach into three four, but we chose you know three six or uh, I mean one six. Found a laptop with 20, uh, 20 gigabyte of memory. That's, uh, that's definitely not memory, bro. 16 gigabyte of data. Yeah, they're 4 4 Charlie on established approach for 16 entered. Here's land, 16th Center, United 44 Charlie. about to get hairy. I was going to put Vash it in, but I didn't think it was that close, but maybe it was that close. Maybe. Um, oops. You guys will just clear that out. Screw it. Um, I would have come in from Griffey, but he's going to give us vectors anyway, so I don't think this really matters. Uh, we do got dialless frequency tuned in, so... Fingers crossed, we got the easy core set for 164. Go ahead and get our landing lights on, taxi lights, wing lights, and let's see, seatbelt signs have been on this whole entire time, so that's fine, okay, sweet. And I think that's about it here. Uh, 
Uh, the ATC sounds like that because he was uh, he's got a little voice boxing he's using for his uh, neck, right? So you know, um, you know, um, you've probably seen some on TV show or something like that. But uh, the guy was born with a crush lyrics, the lyrics. I forget, I don't even know how to pronounce that. But uh, yeah, he's he doesn't have a, a voice box pretty much, right? So he uses um, he uses that uh, box thing. Jack, Jack. Right turn, one three zero for Delta three one two two. Oh, oh would you come on now? Exit left when able, cross sixteen left, continue to parking uh, via Bravo, United four four Charlie. Yeah, it's kind of crappy, but... He makes the best out of it. Okay, I got the localized, but I don't have the glide slope. The glide slope's still meh. And I don't see anything. I don't even know where we're at. Uh, Sail Fresh Delta 3122, we are uh, established here in the ILS. Delta, Delta 3122, Delta 3122, Delta 3122, Delta 64 here. There we go. Now we're captured perfectly. Now right, let's go flap seven. Four four Charlie parked at uh, November one four sir. Is 
great day, sir, and uh, I'll enjoy the uh, coffee zone. Thanks very much. Coffee and donuts. Too low. The rain. Too low. Oh, jeez. More flaps here. Let's go gear down. Too low. The rain. Too low. This thing's going to, like, beep at us the whole time, isn't it? Yep. Too low. The rain. Too low. The rain. Approaching. One. My flaps full. Center. Light flow. White Bob. This guy. Bounce there, let's go here, reversers. Five thousand feet remaining. I feel like, uh, yeah, these guys, LAS needs to fix the pitch on this thing. It's way too crazy. I thought I fixed it, but I guess I didn't. What's up, by two? We we're almost, we almost had a butter there, guys. Almost had a butter. We, um, we missed the butter by like three feet per minute, believe it or not. Roger, taxi the gate uh, via Mike Bravo, cross uh, one six left at Mike for uh, Delta three one two two. Thanks. Approaching three you probably need four that. right. All right, let's go ahead and get our landing lights off here and taxi lights, wing lights. Actually, taxi lights can stay on. Uh, go ahead and get our strobes now. Welcome to Seattle, guys. Land with autopilot next time. Uh, this thing doesn't. I don't think this thing has an auto land feature, man. We can't do that. And why? It's that's not even fun, bro. Not even fun. Actually, this is that gate right there. Yes. are mingling and shit. Let's break up that break up that fun they're having over here. Screw that. You know there's a parking spot right here. Get our engine shut off here and parking brake set. There we go. All right, let's see if we can open this door. Can we open this door? The last times we did it, we couldn't do it, but I don't know. We'll see. Look at that. Oh, fuck yeah, there we go. Let's bring this out here. Fuck off my plane now, gents. Welcome.
of guys to uh, Seattle. Hey, that worked out pretty good. Yeah. Uh, what about, what should I do with the, what, what, I don't need, what, oh, Jesus. Uh, to be honest with you, man, save the most money you can, uh, buy the, buy the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro, right? But if you come to a later date, uh, you want to, you know, you want to, you know, pursue a little bit more, uh, advanced and, and sim, you know, uh, simulation, then, uh, it probably, uh, you probably should get the rudder pedals at a later date. So, like I said, you might not even like flying, man. It might be totally different to you, man. Um, so, it's uh, it's up to you, man. It's up to you. I'm not gonna say that. Uh, I'm not gonna say no. But um, I think uh, for forty dollars, forty dollars is probably your best bet right now for something like that. And then, like I said, if you uh, want to upgrade later, at least you only spent forty dollars instead of buying like three like three hundred dollars worth of stuff and not actually liking it and then you know reselling it or something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, what's going on, Andrew? What's up, man? We got uh, KJ family. What's up? How you doing, man? Snow Cat, how you doing? Uh, we just arrived into uh, Seattle here. Um, yeah, I guess we're a little bit off the line. Letting it, letting everybody out virtually. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and close that door now, and uh, we'll do a replay. So we'll just bring this back in here. Do that, and then we'll close it, because that's going to show up on replay. We don't want the door open on replay, do we? And let's close. Close that. Lock. There we go. We'll do that. All right. Let's go ahead and disconnect from uh, from Squawk Box here. Um, there we go. Disconnect. Oh, boy. And uh, let's watch this replay. Man. This thing sketches shit to fly, though, I'll tell you that. All right, so toggle replays. Though the weather was a little bit better than I was anticipating, so at least we were able to see the runway. So that's always a good thing, right? So that's, yeah, that's a positive thing. All right. Let's, um, let's get some music on here for you guys. Not that, though. Damn sounds. What's going on, Boone? What's up, man? Stick is thirty dollars on Amazon. Nice, man. Yeah, there you go. So thirty dollars on Amazon, dude. Way better than spending, you know, three hundred bucks on rudders and a yoke. I would save the money you're you're planning on spending on that though, uh, for something like that, just in case you want to buy it, dude. Where are we flying to next? We're flying to Ketchikan, Alaska. Uh, we're actually going to go all the way up to Anchorage today, and then uh, tomorrow we're going to go uh, from Anchorage to Hawaii. area man thanks bro it was all right it was all right Maybe, maybe one day. Maybe it's the yoke. Maybe it's my yoke that's doing it. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's really... Oof, right there. You trying to log in? Sweet. A bouncy butter. Not quite. You downloading the demo? Alright, man. 
lighting effects are pretty good though. Jeez. Reflection off the uh, sun coming through the clouds here. Thanks, bro. Jesus, you're a damn man. Hi, Marco, man. I'll catch you around, dude. Go, uh, go download that um, demo, and then uh, we'll see if you like like explain or not. Uh, the song that was Lost Sky. It's uh, Dreams, I think, is the name of the song. That bad. It wasn't great though. I don't know. You got gate C8. Nice. You gonna be able to? You gonna be able to do this? You know, it's a, it's a song, buddy. Oh man. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the B Ray back screen, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna fly the. Uh, Next, we're going to fly the 738. I think we're going to fly the 738 for the rest of the remainder of the flight. So, I hope you're not an Airbus fan, because we're not going to fly Airbus today. Um, let's see here. My OBS. Where are you? There you are. All right, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. we got to do this one. Do we want to wait? We want to wait, don't we? We're going to wait and do that there. I'm not going to say your day. That's just, just wrong. It says, uh, you got one more butter than, uh... Fall indeed. Oh, jeez. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it. We'll, we'll do it when we come back. I promise. I promise. Thanks for the $5, bro. And uh, here, here, have a float on, bro. Have a float on. And uh, let's um, get set up again. We're going to restart the sim. So uh, we're going to take the Z-Bow, bro. The Z-Bow. Um, the ultimate, I don't think, works very well. But uh, anyways, I'll be right back, guys. I promise. Come on, Birdie 100. Who's <laughs> this tracking beard, dude? Oh my. Let's go, Andrew. What's up, man? Now, where does uh, Alaska Park? Let's see here. You said you were at Charlie 8, right? Hmm. I don't think Alaska Park's over there. I don't know. No, Southwest Park's over there, I think. I'm going to park at uh, November 17. How about that? Alaska, all right. Okay, what livery should we fly? Which is very scared. Very scared to fly this one.
What's going on, Harris? You said you're in, uh, you're in New York. Nice, dude. Nice. The boss, you want to fly KLM? We can't fly KLM right now, man. Sorry. We're, uh, we're in Seattle, bro. We're doing some, uh, domestic. Actually, technically, this is an international flight because we cross over an international territory. I think that's how that works. Posted some shots of the new PVD update. Man, you're updating that thing way too much. Jeez. Okay, let's look at it here. Where's Discord at? What you got for me, bro? What you got for me? I am here in the middle of nowhere. There is no there. Version 2.2. We're gonna be on fucking version 5 before fucking the end of the year. Um, hey Andrew, did you, um, uh, or vertical, I would say, because there's two Andrews in here. Um, did you fix the, there's a problem with the main terminal, it has a lot of, um, um, a lot of the ants problem, you know what I'm talking about, right? The marching ants. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, hopefully you do. I don't think you did, as it's, I think I see them in your photos here. There's gotta be a way to fix those. These look nice, man. These look, uh, these look pretty good. How many pictures of these? Yeah, this is pretty good, man. This is top-notch shit, man. You're getting better, man. You're getting better. I can't wait. I can't wait for more airplay, uh, airports from you. It's gonna be great. You made a whole new terminal? Sweet, man. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know what the, what the deal with the marching ants thing is. Uh oh I can't use this airline. Slight delay, guys, in our flight. One sec here. I'm falling up, I'm falling down from the sky and from the ground. Where's our zebo? That would do it. Try to penetrate without. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. All right, hold on, hold on, man, hold on. I'm trying to try to make sure my sim's not gonna crash again on me. You're fucking dick, bro. You son of a bitch. Well, just for that, I'm not putting that name on there. <laughs> You're a fucking cocksucker. Alright. Thomas! Hold on, I gotta quit. <laughs> Get explained again. Apparently that didn't work. Good one, man. That's a good one. You shouldn't have told me, man. You shouldn't have told me. Now I'm fucking TKing you tonight when we play Siege, man. You fucking not surviving any round we play. I'm gonna get banned. I swear to God. You son of a bitch. I can't believe that shit, man. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. Where is my RG mod? There it is. That's the one I want. 
No wonder why that didn't work. Okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, what am I doing? I'm, I'm loading the sim again. I, uh, was... I was I had it loaded and everything, but, uh, there was a, there was a problem with the, um, the panel. Some, some panels, right, guys? So, if you have the Zebo mod, right, and you download deliveries, uh, some, some panels will, uh, have the default 737 panel, which, uh, if you have, like, uh, you know, the Zebo mod installed, it overwrites the, the Zebo mods panel, and it looks like shit. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, right? It's like super gray, like bright gray front front panel, and then everything else is like the dark gray Zebo kind of thing. Looks like garbage. I can't fly like that. She gave you a rusty trombone. Oh Jesus! You guys are nuts. You guys are fucking nuts. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Thomas. I'm not going to TK you in games today. That would be rude. I don't want to get banned. Alright, Seattle to Pact here. Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. Oh, Jesus. Unable to find Banger 9. Are you serious? What is with this shit, man? That's better. Okay. Alright, anyways, uh, let's, uh, let's see here. Let's open up my... Oh, shit. Nightbot, where are you at? Alright guys, so uh, this route here, we're going to do the Banger 9. We'll copy that over here. Oops, I didn't replace this from the last time too. Alright, go ahead and submit that. There we go. That's, yeah, this is going to be nice. Let's get my weather back on here, make it look all nice and gloomy. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, that, that will kill you. How <laughs> we live, right? You know a kid died after coming 44 times? Oh jeez. I don't know about that one. What's going on, Jaren? What's up? You gonna do this flight with us? Probably not. It's not long enough for you. Alright, let's get into the pit here, guys. Let's, um, let's see here. We want, uh, ground surfaces, connect our GPU. Let's go ahead and get our battery on. Go, go ahead and connect that here. Get our seatbelts on, and let's go ahead do our IRS alignment. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and get our uh, 
fuel pumps, uh, center fuel pumps here, and let's go get our logo and wing lights, anti-collisions, and uh, see, cruise altitude is going to be three, five, shit, three, four, yeah, three, four, zero. Why does that do that? Alright. Because their window heat's on there. Alright, let's go ahead since... Wow, it's so dark. Couldn't get our lights here. Alright, let's get some music here. Blap! No more music. Well, I guess a little bit of music. Let's get uh, the rest of our lights here. Holy shish kebab. Okay, so, uh, we are headed, guys, to PAX. Let's get to the FMC here. We'll go uh, type in pause in it here. So, let's see. We're going to do, uh jeez, P. There we go. A, K, T. K, K, there we go. K, there we go. T. And then, um... Copy that over, set our position, and we'll go to our route here. Or, oh, that's not origin. What? No, oh shit, I'm fucking, I fucked that up big time. Wow. Wow, okay. Well, I'll redo. Alright, KC is where we're at. Holy shit balls. Okay, Seattle, we'll copy that over. There we go. <laughs> now, we'll copy this over. Well, we can't copy that because it didn't put it in there. Execute there. There we go. Now, we'll type impact. Holy shit going crazy and ASA 3122 for a flight number <laughs> pact is, though pact is definitely not the reference airport I'm gonna fucking murder you Thomas all right uh, all right so we are going to go into our departures here we're gonna do the banger 9 and we're gonna do the pangle and then we're gonna depart here 16 left Go route, activate that, execute, and let's go to our route again. Uh, actually, we're already there. We'll go after Pangle here. We're gonna to we're gonna go to QQ because that's what Thomas does every time I kill him. Yep, that's right. Which one is it? It's that one. All right, and then after QQ, we're gonna go PR. Hope that's right. And after PR, I don't think that's right. Might be. After PR, we're going to do Victor 309. Well, I guess we'll find out. Victor 309. Pop that in there. Okay, I guess that is the right PR. Uh, and then uh, we'll just go to ANN. And there we go. And then we'll execute. Go to our rivals here. And uh, we don't have any stars for this. Let's get our weather real quick. Let's see. There we go. All right. Type in packed here. Winds are 150, so we'll land uh, ILS 11. There we go. The AM transition. Alright, so there's that. Let's go ahead into our little uh, EFB over here, and I think we got to reset our settings and everything too. We're going to take uh, 30, let's do 34,000 for the weight, and then uh, for the fuel, uh, let's do. Let's do 22. You know what? We'll do 25. There we go. I expect a headwind. It gives us a takeoff weight of 148.4 thousand pounds. Okay. And we're going to pause that right there. There we go. So we don't have to do anything. I should just make a view for that. Alright, let's go ahead and connect to Squawk Box here before we forget here. So we'll just, whoop, not Squawk Box connect. ASA. And do we have... We do. We're just going to have to fly the new colors. Go ahead and connect. And uh, see here. Send flight plan. There we go. Do the banger 9 here. Oops. Oh, boy. Oh, is this not going to... Oh, it's not going to work because it's on the tablet, isn't it? Just a bit. Can we not... I know I can move this thing. I will just do it this way. Okay. Uh, so, Seattle. And then packed. Uh, I'm going to leave your mom in there. That's great. Uh, so, 340. 
And let's see, the flight time's going to be about an hour. I would say about an hour and 30 minutes because of the headwind here. we got enough fuel for 2 hours 15 minutes. That sounds about right. We'll go ahead. Uh, true airspeed is going to be about 460 uh, knots. Go ahead and hit that. Send. And then uh, let's go ahead and see if there's anybody online. Let's see. Squawk box. Aw. Peter's not online anymore. Oh, well. Oh, I just... I fucked that up, didn't I? God damn it. Get back in there. Alright. Alright. So, that's done. Let's go ahead and... Back into our FMC here. We'll go to the initial reference here. Uh, index. We'll do our perf now. Get our gross weight. And let's do reserves for 5. Cost index 55. And cruise out to is going to be 340. Oops. 340. There we go. Execute that. Go to N1 limits here. We'll go get our temperatures plus 7 degrees Celsius. Uh, so you do rate 24 and we'll do climb 1. And then uh, flaps 5 for departure. And give us our center of gravity 22.2. Gives us a trim of 5.23. Let's type 160 knots for a V2. You can get to v V1 and VR there. What's going on, DJ Garcia? What's up, man? Someone posted an old route card. Uh, uh, in the Tampa Plain Spotting Facebook page? Nice. It's from June 11, uh, 1976. Sweet. TPA to CAC directly. Nice, man. Like, uh, like my home airport, man, it used, it, it used to be, I don't, it's probably definitely not anymore, but it used to be the fastest growing regional airport, man, in, in the United States. Is uh, Eventually, it had three runways all, like, it's fucking crazy. They, um, you know that really wide taxiway? That used to be a runway, and uh, they I think they just got rid of it. Um, so, I don't think they ever used it, so... But, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, let's see, I think uh, Delta does flights direct from Atlanta there, too. Alright, so I think that's it for the... Uh, let's see, next page here. Go runway, wind. What's our wind doing right now at Seattle? Winds are still calm, okay. So we'll just do um, zero, 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 zero. That's invalid entry. Well, fine. I guess you can't put zeros. Uh, let's do, you know what? It's, it is dry, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so we won't, yeah. All right, never mind. We won't mess with that. Okay, so we'll go back to our uh, reference here. We'll leave that up. We'll put uh, we'll put the legs on number two here. Let's go ahead and do our ground proximity warnings. Whoops, that's not what I want. God damn it! All right. Hit the wrong button. Ground proximity warning. There we go. Go ahead and test those out, and I think we're all good here. Let's go. Go through my settings here real quick, because I know this didn't save. I have a funny little feeling. Let's see, do we want... No, we won't take any SATCOM antennas. We don't want the HUD. We do want that, though. I think, I think each livery has its own setting. I think this is how this works. So, let's see, we want yaw for that. Realism settings, we don't want that, and we don't want the tire blow thing, because that just fucks up everything. Uh, visual effects here, we do not want to show the passengers. Okay, everything works out for that. Aircraft config, checklist detail, and everything else is fine there. We'll go to captain for the sync for the Q&H, minimums and stuff like that. And then audio. Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's turn up the volume here. We want to PAX, uh, let's do PAX 8, PM volume 10, airport volume 7, gyro, we want on 8. Let's see, engine volume all the way up, thank you, yes. Air conditioner 7, wind volume, leave it 5, bumps, we probably want the bumps up to 8. There we go, we want that too. And, uh, somebody subscribed. Hold on up. 
Oh. And uh, Killer Bat, thanks so much for uh, thanks so much for the subscription, man. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the crew too. Um, let's see, GPWS callouts. Twenty twenty. All the way up. And trim wheel we went up too because it's actually quiet anyway. And I think that is it for that. Let's go home. And uh, let's go save here. Do a quick save. I wonder if it the presets are for every livery too or what. I don't even know. Okay, so. I think that's all done. We'll go ahead and start our leg. And let's go... Oops. I done fucked up. Um, let's go to PA systems here real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, the boarding door is not closed. Flight attendants and doors for departure. Cross check, fair price job, send by for all call. Did it just get foggy? Wow! What the actual fuck over? This is some crazy shit. Okay, this is IMC right here, guys. Like, <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. We're not gonna be able to do this, are we? Alright, let's see, uh, let's see. What's our altimeter here? Last was 3014. And we are going to need now. large electronic devices, laptop computers, to be turned off and stowed. Smaller electronic handheld devices may be used, however, they must be switched into airplane mode at this time, and all calls and texts terminated. Hot and steamy, right? Okay. I think everything's all good here now, right? The crew will now be coming through to do a final cabin check. We'll be back after takeoff with more information about our flight. Let's go uh, start Thank the APU now. Attention and welcome aboard. Man, this is some crazy weather, dude. This is foggy as shit. If it was like this now, coming into land with that fucking sob, whew, we would have died. I guarantee it. Nah, we wouldn't have died. We had we had the localizer and everything. We were flying manually, but uh, I don't think we would have been able to see the runway. I can't even see the fucking taxi lights behind us or anything. Like, I can't even see those lights, barely. That's insane. Like... Bro, where are the lights at? Oh man, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna get lost on a taxiway. Once again, welcome aboard American Airlines. In just a few moments, we'd like you to direct your... American?! Located throughout the oh, Jesus. For an important safety demonstration on our Boeing 737 aircraft, thank you. Let's uh, get to our, let's see, transponder here. We'll go TARA 2200. And I think that's it. Why is my throttle? Oh, Jesus, hold on. Hold on. Oops. Gotta remove our, our throttle quadrants stuff here. We don't want those, do we? No, we don't want those. We need our spoiler thing, too. Alright, one more thing to do here. Actually, a couple more things. Uh, let's go sound here real quick and turn up the exterior. No, we won't turn up the exterior. We'll bleed that down. All right. Okay, that's that's safe. Perfectly fine. Let's go to our joystick here and assign the flaps for our flaps. Axie. There we go. That should work now. Cool beans. And we need our throttle quadrant. Fire passengers pick and fly with all signs and still remember instructions about seatbelts and smoking. So that you may follow along, we have provided a safety instruction card in your seat pocket. All engines on this airplane are clearly marked. Sweet. Now we're all good. Alright, let's go ahead and go to better pushback here. Please don't mess around with us like we did Canada. Please, I know you like us more. I think. Let's go ahead and start our pushback. Ground a cockpit. Please show me where you want hey, look, to go. Visibility. Uh, let's go taxi on whiskey here. You know what? No, let's just. Yeah, fuck that. This is whiskey too, isn't it? Yeah. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be really fun. 
Ground cockpit. Toe is trotting up. Your tips are so close. Yeah, it's. While remaining seated with your seatbelt fastened, quickly reach for the nearest mask and pull down firmly to start the flow of oxygen. Put the yellow cuff over your nose and mouth. Lift the elastic band over your head and tighten by pulling the strap on either side. Breathe normally. Even though oxygen is flowing, the plastic bag may not inflate. Always put your own I'll go ahead and disconnect our GPU here. And then help others near you. A light vest is located under the seat or between seats. Safety instruction card shows the exact location. All right. To use the vest, open the cover by That's pulling it. the red tab or compartment handle to break the seal. Remove the vest from You're loading in the gate in 14. Oh jeez. I think uh, I think you're going to be late, man. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Once outside, pull down on the red tab to inflate the vest or blow into the red tube on the side of the vest. There is also a light that will illuminate upon contact with water. Never inflate the vest. If necessary, and if the life vest will be distributed by a flight attendant. Love the livery. Nice. They don't fly very often. I actually don't like this livery personally. I just think it's, you know... I don't know. I just, I just don't like it very much. I like the new livery, though. The last, uh, Alaska's new livery. I just don't like this one. I don't know. There's something about it. I just... I don't know. I mean, it's cool, but... What's going on, Benjamin Taylor? What's up, man? So connected and bypassed and inserted. Release parking brakes. Right, let's go ahead and release our parking brakes. And wait for it. Start engine back. And you may start engine. Let's go ahead and start engine number two. Let's go uh, make sure the packs are the in the off position. Off. There we go. Let's go ahead and start number two. To ground. There we go. Uh, is it the default? No, this is the Zebo bot. Make sure you, try, you guys turn up that volume. Listen to that bass. It's all about the bass. About the bass. No treble. Copyright strike incoming. Alright, wait for 25. There's 27. Cool. Let's go ahead and induce the fuel here. Let's go ahead and set brakes to RTO. Well, altitude of my head in 4 I'm going to go to the 34,000 feet, man. 34,000. All right, there's a starter cutout for number two. Let's go ahead and uh, put number two on a uh, continuous here. We'll go ahead and start number one. We'll go ahead and get our gen tie for number two and our gen or uh, engine bleed. Nice. You just did a flight from SFO to Salt Lake? Sweet, dude. This is going to be, this is going to be really fun. Twenty-five percent inducer fuel here. Let's go ahead and get our fuel pump Operation signed. Operation complete. Pumps. Set parking brake. And let's set our parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. I can't believe how foggy it is. This is insane. Your sim crashed again. Man, turn down some of your settings, man. If you have to fly, okay, if it has to look like fucking, you know, Minecraft, just to fly, then you're gonna have to do it, bro. I'm sorry. Alright, it's a good start on number one there. Let's go ahead and number one to continuous uh, trip to Gentai there. And let's go ahead and get the uh, engine bleed on. Get the APU bleed off. We'll get the packs back on the auto. Go ahead and run our engine high hydraulic pumps now. And let's go ahead and get our aft um, disconnected. fuel I'm pumps. And has been removed. Hand signal on the left. Go ahead and we'll kill the APU. And, have a safe flight. and let's go ahead and get our pedo heats on. And since it's, you know what, we're going we're gonna to depart with uh, wing anti-ice here. And let's get our yaw damper. There we go. Go hit the uh, recall here. Nice. Wait for our hand signal. There it is. Okay. Let's go flaps five for departure here. And uh, let's do a little big brake check here. There we go. Brakes work. Sweet. All right. Let's taxi to one six left, guys. Wherever the hell that is. Okay, we want 
to go straight here at Bravo. Uh, there's no ATC now, nah, he, uh, he signed off, man, unfortunately. We had ATC for our first flight, at least. Fix your X Plane 11. Oh man, it only worked one for one load. Oh no. Now you're back with X Plane 10. Oh jeez. I'm sorry, man. I really am. music there. Seven hours flying from Portugal to New York? Oh, jeez. You know that music. I think a lot of people know that music. It's uh, just the NCS stuff. I play it. Most of the stuff is played over and over and over again. I'm gonna be dead and still hearing this fucking music. Oh yeah, shit! Oh, you shot, don't I, Thomas? Mister, Mister, you swallow. <laughs> fucking Jesus! All right, here we go. Let's do this shot for Thomas. We should probably uh, not drink and fly at the same time, and especially with uh, visibility like this. Huh? What do you guys think? I don't think we should do it, but... Oh well, fuck him. Here we go. Cheers, Thomas. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Oh jeez. And let's go ahead and take the active... Oh jeez. Get our landing lights on, taxi lights. Oh, we forgot those. Fail. And let's see, strobe lights. Approaching one six left. Oh boy, we uh we might want to leave those strobe lights off. That is bad. Okay. Oh my. Hope you guys don't get uh you know seizures and shit. You know what? We're just yeah we're gonna leave those off. Those, On runway those are bad. one six left. Alright, let's do uh, 40% there. There's 50, 50, looking for 50 now. Uh, 50 stable. Let's go ahead and get the chrono here. Let's go ahead, arm our auto throttle. And in one button. Let's take off here. Eighty knots? Eighty knots. There we go, yep. You're going up. Four hundred. Four 
Let's go ahead and disengage our auto brake here. Let's go ahead and set the uh, landing gear to the off position. 1,000. Let's go ahead and go flaps two here. What mic am I running? Uh, it's just a headset mic, man. It's a uh, Steel Series. It's uh, it's a little bit uh, battered and torn, man. It doesn't work. We gotta get a new microphone here real soon, or a new headset. And uh, I'm thinking about getting just a Logitech one or something. Uh, the, those, that's the RG mod, those, those are the max, um, the max uh, fuel cutoffs and the, the max parking brake. So that's part of the RG mod, man. Let's go flaps one now. And flaps up. The X approach is on now. Damn. What's going on, Wolfgang? What's up, man? So our heading, uh, we're in a right-hand turn right now. We're just uh, going to intercept these um, uh, fixes for the uh, RNAV departure here. I'm just flying the flight director at the moment. All right, coming up on 10,000 feet. We'll go ahead and get our lights off, maybe. There we go. Lights off, and see if we get our starters to the off position here. And there's 10,000. Let's go ahead and introduce our auto pilots. There we go. What this guy's doing. Romanovas at American Airlines. Thank you for flying with us today. We're proud to be Air Transport World 2017 Airline of the Year. A special welcome to Advantage in One World members. If you are not an Advantage member, you can sign up at aa.com slash join to earn miles for today's flight and continue earning miles with our I don't know what the hell that was about. Our Advantage Aviator MasterCard is another great way to earn miles for everyday purchases and enjoy benefits such as your first check bag free, preferred boarding, and no foreign transaction fees. Not an Aviator Card member? See a flight attendant and receive an exclusive offer when you apply in-flight today. Shortly, we'll begin our in-flight service. We offer a selection of complimentary beverages. Wi-Fi service is available on this flight. Connect to the AA in-flight signal and open your browser. You can access AA.com via charge. I get our autopilot back on now. 
Yeah, I don't know what those are. I don't know if those are actually planes or just something X plane has. If you need to power. Big ass birds or something. I don't have no idea. Damn. Uh, I can never fly with my flaps down for landing. I just crash. What do you mean? Flaps have a uh, speed restriction, man. So, like, if if you're doing like 250 knots and you go flaps 40, you're probably gonna like crash because <laughs> your flaps can't handle the 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 speed, right? Because you overstress your aircraft. Um, so you need to you need to go flaps 40 and then increase the throttle on landing because um, your your drag. Uh, like the flaps generate lift, but like beyond flaps like 15, uh, it, it induces a little bit more drag. So you'll have to increase uh, throttle to keep up your your airspeed. So you just have to fly the plane manually, man. That was a real plane? Oh, jeez. Well, good thing we moved out of the way, huh? I don't know what that guy was doing. I don't know if he was on the cargo looks from yeah from Anchorage. Nice. Okay. There's two. There's two airplanes there. It's weird. I, I know we're not at eighteen thousand. We'll go ahead and hit that standard, standard uh, cross check there. We got standard one, two, and three. All right. Valid entry. Full shit. Alright. Oh, no ortho. Yeah. It's all good though. We got ortho right here. Alright guys, let's uh let's see here. I gotta start the uh oops. I gotta start the um, the thing here for streaming. My tablet. That way you guys know where I'm at. Go do that. There we go. That's what we want. Alright, so there's our flight plan. Well, ish, maybe. Ish, there we go. Move that over just a bit. You're a smooth, fly smooth flyer? Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm a smooth operator, bro. No, man, it takes it takes a lot of, you know, it takes a lot of practice, man. Uh, Android, dude, definitely. You see how slow it was? <laughs> Jesus. Um, you know, I don't have that fancy light, bro. I can't, can't afford an iPhone or iPad or anything. Um, yeah, man, it just takes, uh, takes uh, quite a bit of experience, man. A lot of practice, man. A lot of... A lot of failures to uh, you know um, to get things to work right, man. So once you once you grab it and you have enough practice, you can um, you know you'll fly just as good as 